children today we are going to see an interesting subject that is maths okay in maths we are going to see a new topic what it is yes it is measurement what we are going to see today we are going to see measurement have you learned this in first standard children no no so this is the first time you are going to learn measurement okay measurement means what it is used to measure things measurement is used to compare the known quantities with the unknown quantities okay children measurement means what it is used to compare the known quantities with the unknown quantities okay so known quantity means what so you all would have been to shops right so if you go to shop after buying everything you will put weight no is some weighing machine will be there or else like a stones like that they will keep 500 grams 1 kg 2 kg like that one big big iron stones will be there so if that is all known quantities unknown quantity means example if you are taking a bag of potatoes okay you don't know the weight of that potato so what you should do so there will be a weighing machine will be there no so if you keep that 1 kg weight and if you keep the potatoes if it comes equal to that 1 kg means that is 1 kg of potato first you don't know the weight of that bag of potato now after keeping with that weighing machine with 1 kg if it is equal to that 1 kg means what is that so the weight of the potato is what 1 kg now so first you don't know the amount quantity of that potato now you know that one by how with that known quantity of that weight so like this we have found the weight of that potato this is called comparing of known quantities with the unknown quantities okay children so this is called measurement so you will go to tailors no to switch the uniform and all so what the tailors will do what he will be having in his neck shoulder he will use a measuring tape have you seen yes can you see a measuring tape here yes that is measuring tape okay so with that tape only tailor used to measure the length or else measure your height he will measure the sleeve size everything he will measure have you all would have been right yes everyone would have been to a tailor so what the tailor will do he will make you to stand he will measure your neck he will measure your shoulder then skirt everything the tailor will measure no so with what he will measure children with one tape that is called measuring tape so what the tailor will do after measuring with the tape he will write in a note right 2 cm 3 cm like that he will write the thing so what will be there in the tape children there will be numbers right so can you see that tape with the numbers you can see that inches numbers and all will be there 1 cm 2 cm 3 cm and all so they don't know the length of your sleeves and all by seeing that centimeter tape only right exactly okay it is 2 cm it is 6 cm like that they can right easily like this only they used to measure the length children okay so now we are going to see measurement of weight and measurement of length these two things we are going to learn today first we are going to see measurement of weight shall we see measurement of weight now yes weight can be measured in grams and kilograms weight can be measured in what children grams and kilograms grams means that is measured in small amount okay grams are measured in small amount whereas if you take kilograms it is me measured in large amount okay kilograms means more if grams means that is less amount okay so first we will see grams okay so you all will go to shop right with your with your parents you will go to shop so what and all you will buy you will buy apples fruits vegetables like pepper then mustard seeds cumin seeds fenugreek seeds like that and all we will buy that and all small small things okay it, it is 
small okay if you see also it is it will come in your handful of thing so that is all small thing and it is measured in grams you will not go and ask give 1 kg of mustard give 1 kg of cumin seed like that you will not ask so you will get in grams give 50 grams give 100 grams of cumin seeds give 50 grams of fenugreek seeds like that only we will buy so that is all measured in grams children okay that is called grams okay then we will see the kilograms what do not we will get in kilograms means which which is more weight okay which is heavy that and all is measured in what kilograms example if you take apple you will not go and ask give one gram of apple give five grams like that we will not ask how we will ask we will say give one kilogram of apple give one kg apple give five kg apple like that we will buy no you would have been with your parents know to shop and not to buy vegetables like that so mummy will buy 1 kg uh, onion 1 kg tomato like that only they will get so which is heavy that is all measured in what kilograms okay now you take you as a example okay if you go to hospital if you go to doctor for a check up what the doctor will do to check your weight what he will do he will ask you to stand in what the weigh machine so you will be standing on that right so if you stand means one thing one arrow mark will come right how many of them have checked your weight with doctor when you stand on the weighing machine your weight will be shown so it will be 20 kg 30 kg 15 kg 17 kg like that doctor will write in this prescription so our weight and all is measured in what children in kilograms okay so we are not heavy weight only no so that is all measured in kilograms if it is small very less quantity means it is measured in what grams okay then what and all you will carry to school you will carry your school bag right it is measured in grams or kilograms what children is it gram no very good that is kilograms it is heavy to lift no so that is all measured in what children kilograms okay these are the things which can be measured in grams and kilograms so weight can be measured in what grams and kilograms can you see the weight children yes grams and all like a stone or else like a electric thing now and all electric machine only is there no weighing machine if you go keep the rice bag the thing will come 500 grams 1000 grams like that it will come okay now we will see the units of that weight okay measurement of weight okay 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams say children 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams so in 1 kg how many grams are there 1000 grams are there like that 100 gram 200 gram 300 together if we see means that is 1000 gram 1000 gram means what 1 kg okay 1000 gram if we collect together it becomes what kilogram 1 kg next 1 gram is equal to 100 centigram so how 1 gram will come so if we see all the centigram centigram means less than grams okay centigram means less than grams if we take all the centigrams like that till 100 if we collect so that 100 centigram is equal to how many grams 1 grams okay 1 gram is equal to 100 centigrams next 1 gram is equals to 1000 mg okay so 1000 mg first we have seen centigram right now mg so mg is less than centigram okay so mg means if we collect all the 1000 mg how many grams will come 1 gram next 1 centigram is equal to 10 mg okay 1 centigram is equal to 10 mg mg so that is also too small than that okay these are the units you should learn you should by heart this one okay children and then i said mg kg like that and all no so instead of saying that full thing we can say it as short form kg means what we can say kg say kg kg then gram gram means what g g means gram short form of gram is g then milligram so short form of milligram is what mg okay next centigram short form of centigram is cg 
Okay. So shall we say again measurement of weight? One kilogram is equal to thousand gram. Then one gram is equal to hundred centigram. One gram is equal to thousand milligram. One centigram is equal to ten milligram. Okay, children. Next we will see measurement of length. So far we have seen measurement of weight. Now we are going to see measurement of length. Length can be measured in meter, kilometer, centimeter, or millimeters. Okay. So first itself I told you one example with tailor. He used measuring tape. So that is a, that is all length. Okay. So length and all can be measured with what, children? So meters and centimeters. Example, in your box you have scale, right? If you want to measure anything, if you want to measure the size of your pencil, so you all have pencil. If you sharp, it will become small, right? So if you want to measure the pencil, what is the size of the pencil? You can check with your scale. So keep that scale and you can check. So what centimeter it is coming? If it will come eight centimeter, it will come five centimeter like that. It depends on your pencil like that you can find the measure length of that pencil like that to measure anything we need a scale or a tape like that we need to measure something in olden days they don't have tape scale and all to measure a thing so how they would have measured children do you have any idea yes they use their hands they use their hands to measure the things that is called hand span what is hand span it will be like this this is called one hand span okay this is one hand span so to measure anything example if they want to measure a pencil how they would have measured means they will take a pencil like this if they keep means yes it is one hand span for example if we take a bench you will come to school no yes that long bench if you want to measure means how you will measure with your hand span children yes like this you should keep one two three like that it will go on it is three and span five hand span six and span like that you can say okay the other type is cubit okay cubit means what mom so you will go outside with your parents your mommy will buy flowers and all no so flowers and all how they will buy they will get a cubits they will not measure with the tape and all just like that they measure with the hand cubit means in tamil they will say oru moram rendu moram like that they will See, so example what your mother will buy one cubit of flour, two cubits of flour means how they will measure like this with the hand. Can you see a lady that measuring in the hand? Yes, like that they will from your hand to this elbow they will measure. That is called cubit. This and all will not give you the correct centimeter. This is not just a guess or else next one. Foot span also is used. First, olden days and all, they will use the foot span. Same your length of your foot, no? So like that, if you keep and you can measure. So that is foot span. Okay, children. So like that, they used to measure with guess. But nowadays, to measure with exact thing or approximately, what we will use? Either we will use scale or else measuring tape or else other than that, we will use to measure some. things that is all used for measuring what length okay next we will see units of length first we have seen unit of weight no now like that we are going to see unit of length that is 1 km is equal to 1000 m say children 1 km is equal to 1000 m so 1000 m together is what 1 km next 1 m is equal to 100 cm so meter is small and less than that is what that is centimeters okay in your scale and all you can see centimeters cm mm millimeter like that it will start that is all too small that is what we are going to see then 1 meter is equal to what 100 cm next 1 meter is equal to 1000 mm so 1000 mm together forms what 1 meter next 1 cm is equal to 10 mm 1 cm is equal to what 10 mm this mm only you can see in your scale you have ruler in your box right in that ruler it will start with m m 0 m m like that it will be there okay if you want you can check after this class also 
So that is called millimeter. Shall we say again? One kilometer is equal to thousand meter. One meter is equal to hundred centimeter. One meter is equal to thousand millimeter. One centimeter is equal to ten millimeter. This also can be written in short form. Kilometer means what? Km. Kilometer means km. Meter means yam. Meter. Yam. Then short form of millimeter is what? Yam yam. Short form of millimeter is yam yam. Then short form of centimeter is c yam. Short form of centimeter c yam. Okay. So like this only we will write. So how we are writing this short form means kilometer. So in kilo first take that k and meter first take that yam. So k yam. That first first letter if we take and write we will get the Short form. So these are the measurement of length. So what and all we have seen, children, we have seen measurement of weight and measurement of length. Next, we will move on to workbook exercise. Okay, children, all take your book, page number seventy one, measurement worksheet one, measurement of length. Can you see this picture? Children are flying kites. Yes. So everyone has one one kite. with a rope yes so first we are going to measure using a scale all have scale right take your scale yes where this boy is holding no from the top till his hand we are going to measure so take a scale yes from the 0 cm you should start okay yes what it is coming yes it is 8 cm so write 8 in the first blank Can you see the next one? The girl is holding a kite. Yes. So shall we measure this? Yes. What is the centimeter? Yes, nine centimeter. So write nine in the next one. Can you see here uh, the next one? The boy is holding the kite. So it is little lengthy. So shall we measure this? Yes. Take your scale. Yes. we will start from the top till the end where he holds so what centimeter children 13 cm so write 13 1 3 okay so like this only you should measure so the rest of the three sums you are going to do on your own okay next we will move on to the next page next is worksheet 2 estimating length estimate the length of these objects used in real life choose the closest answer okay can you see the first picture it is a peeler okay we are going to write the centimeter by guessing okay we are going to estimate and write on our own so peeler first one is about 5 cm about 10 cm about 20 cm So peeler won't be that much big, right? Till twenty centimeter. So it is about ten centimeter. Already they have done. So we will move on to the next one. Can you see the spoon? Yes, about seven centimeter. About seven centimeter. About fifteen. The seven centimeter is repeated twice. So instead of meter, it is repeated twice. Okay. So we can change that one. So how, what will be the measurement of uh, spoon, children? it will not be 15 meters right it will be about 7 cm so put a circle in the first one about 7 cm next picture can you see a blender about 15 cm about 15 m about 50 cm yes it is about 15 cm first one yes put one circle in the first one okay next is a ladle can you see the ladle about 30 cm about 3 cm about 3 m that is all too small no ladle will be little bigger about 30 cm so circle the first one first option about 30 cm so the next two you are going to find okay children thank you children 